Hello and welcome back to Tune Insiders. In this video, we would like to show you how to connect the Zoom H4n in an easy way to your phone or other mobile devices for a much better recording quality. For this tutorial, we are using the Android phone, but we believe if your iPhone or iPad still has the 3.5mm jack input, you could use our method. To make this connection, you will need 1. Zoom H4n or any recording device with 3.5mm jack output or headphone monitor. 2. Jack splitter 3.5mm with audio and microphone output. If you need one, we provide the link in the description. 3. Two aux 3.5mm stereo cables to make the connection with the mobile device and into your headphone. Obviously, the next one you need your mobile device. And 5. Your headphone or speaker. It is important that you use the 3.5mm jack traditional splitter to separate the audio and microphone line. It is possible because the tip of the jack from the splitter has the same three lines as your normal earphone does. This jack's configuration consists of two audio lines or stereo and one microphone line plus control. It wouldn't work with a normal stereo jack because it has only two lines. Turn on the H4N device and make sure that the mic lamp is on. Press the recording button once and it will be on the monitor state. Usually it's blinking in the default setting. To set the recording level, you can click this link to our first video for more information. Now after you plug in the splitter into your mobile device, connect the microphone line with the recording device's headphone or output line using the aux cable. You can set the output volume with the volume button setting on the left side of the Zoom H4n. Make sure it is not too loud or too soft. Connect the unoccupied line with another aux cable to your headphone if you're using this method for online teaching or meeting. A small tip, if you would like to record your voice while you're doing your online teaching or make a recording with your phone, you can press the Zoom's recording button for the second time until its red light is permanently on. If you're using your mobile device to teach on Skype, then it is not possible to set your audio setting manually. However, in the Zoom app there is a possibility to set the audio setting into its original sound and we are going to show you how to do it. Open your Zoom app setting in your mobile device and go to the meeting menu. Click on it and scroll down until you find the Use Original Sound feature and then turn it on. With this way you're connecting a designated external audio source to your mobile device. Thank you for watching Tune Insiders. If you find our content to be useful or if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. Please like, comment, subscribe and turn on the notification alarm to support our channel. Bye-bye!